Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about don't keep coy if you want to create wealth and grand life. Welcome back to Red the Color, the place for the culture inspiration, creative ideas, and the wealth attracting feng shui secret. Please subscribe, like, and share. Keep watching. About 267 A.D., Chinese start to keep the red carp. Yes, in China, carp is a symbol of the good fortune. Has always been worshipped as the king of the fish. During the Tang Dynasty, the carp were brought to Japan. Later, develop into koi, Nishiki koi. Although, if you look at the history. Chinese always treat carp as food because they're big sized and easy to breed. In fact, keeping koi as ornamental fish was after China started to reform during the 80s. So in the past, Chinese have never considered to breed carp as ornamental fish or considered carp as a valuable pets. The carp keeping unable to maintain an intimate relationship required too much harsh labor work to just to maintain. So there is no chance to be in control. Therefore, keep it in the wild as food is much more practical. As we know, in human, we always want something we don't have, because keep koi means require big space. There is never be、uh, enough for space. That indicate the person, the owner, who always will be longing to have a bigger space. Besides, more space, less control. So the pleasure turns struggle. Chinese, they don't have to desire for big space, but they want intimacy. They want a smaller fish. They can control. They can handle. They can touch. They can constantly play with it. From traditional point of view, if you look at the Chinese landscape, they always try to create a intimacy, a limited space, small corners from the big grand view. If you look at the Japanese landscape, they try to create a big grand scene, the mountain, the river, bridge, whatever is from very limited space. So, from the universal law point of view, you look at it, law of attraction. So, Chinese landscape they try to create intimacy, the contentment, because they already have the big space. However, the Japanese they have limited space, so they want to create this grand illusion of big mountain and the rivers, big land. So on the surface, you look at the Japanese garden; it's very peaceful. But underneath, you feel the desire of expansion. If you go to Chinese garden, then you will feel contentment, the intimacy, a coziness, because they try to create a little space from grand space. So if you have a koi, then you constantly want to have expansion. But law of attraction indicates that if you want more of space, then you don't have space. So if you want to have big wealth and big yard, big garden, then you create the intimacy. For example. I don't want to have my koi pond too big. I want the pond smaller so I can control it. Because each time I want to catch the fish, I have to drain the pond. Then I have to get into the pond myself, try to catch the koi, and have all kinds of negative thoughts, such as I don't want to hurt the koi. I don't want to lose the skill. I don't want to break the fin. I don't. I don't. I don't. The point of keep fish is to appreciate its value.
to have chance to observe their beauty, not to be frustrated about how to catch them in order to have a close look or touch them, because the pond is too big and they swim too fast. Winter time you can't get into the pond. You have to wait till the summer. And sometimes they have skin parasites. You touch the skin like sandpaper. So you need to soak them in the salt water so they can recover. But all this maintenance work require time and energy. So if you want to create wealth, you don't want frustration and the constant labor work just to keep them. That will reduce your chance to have wealth. Japanese they develop the koi culture because they want to create the illusion they have a grand life. In fact, besides they have an outdoor pond outside their palace, and normal people they are not able to keep koi. So that's why they can find the koi in the public drainage, because they can't keep it in the house. So they let them grow naturally. Another example is you use the feng shui principle. You have to keep, or either just one, or you have to keep night fish. In China, lots of people live in the apartment. Even they have wealth, but keep night koi in the aquarium is very difficult because you don't have、uh, enough space. Again, as we talk about law of attraction, to create constant satisfaction. You have satisfaction, then you have more satisfaction. The illusion doesn't make it true because more you want it, more you lose it. If you want to create wealth, you keep goldfish. You keep the fish smaller, so then you have satisfaction. So the koi business, based on to sell you the fantasy. A prosperity fantasy will never benefits the ordinary koi owner unless you have plenty of room. You have trustworthy servants to help you maintain your pond. There is a reason. For thousands of years, Chinese are not very big fan develop a koi culture like Japanese did. When you raise koi, you have more chance to fail because their sizes is bigger. After selection, then you have to leave some time. Like koi, they have to grow at least three years to show their full color. So you don't have three years to keep a big number of、uh, big fish, unless you want to have frustration. And only when the plastic bag invented, and the koi can be exported. But before, it's just compete. So raise the best koi to present it to the emperor. Under the feudal system, if the emperor likes your koi, will bring the prestige and the fortune. In today's life, most people don't have the luxury of time to taking care of a, a huge-sized fish, especially when they get sick. They just create more frustration. The difference between luxury and the illusion of the luxury is, for instance, if I have a Rolls Royce, I complain because every so often I have to take into the shop to check up. Each time will cost me twenty-five thousand dollars, but that's a pleasure because you're not doing the work; you're just paying the money. More you complain, and you have more money. But if you keep koi and you have labor work, more you complain about the labor work, and more labor work you will have, and constant worry about space. That is simple. So, if you want to create the space, wealth, and comfort in your life, you keep the fish smaller so you can control it, and don't keep koi. If you really like fish, keep goldfish. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.